is started with hundreds of business pitches. 30 shortlisted, 10 got through the finals and now 6 entrepreneurs are here in the pitching arena for the grand finals of Make the Pitch. Tonight, we will find out which business will win the coveted 500,000 ringgit of cash investments from the panel of investors. The six grand finalists are Jay Menon, Jimmy Yo, Aizudin, Fadli, Captain Said Nase, and Tan Ai Kyong. And the panel of investors and judges in this grand final are D.S. Wong, Managing Director, My EG Services Berhad, Dato Noraesa, Executive Chairman, My EG Services Berhad, Dato Fadli Sham Ghazali, CEO MDEX Sendirian Berhad, Nazrin Hassan, CEO Cradle Fund Sendirian Berhad. Who will be the eventual winners? All will be revealed in this final episode tonight. You're watching the Grand Finals of Make the Pitch, brought to you by MyEG, and I am Nazril Idrus. For the last 12 weeks, you've seen budding entrepreneurs pitching their business ideas to a panel of investors who are willing to invest up to half a million ringgit in cash investments. Tonight, six Grand Finalists will re-enter this pitching arena in front of the panel of investors. There will be dramas. There will be offers. There will also definitely be a winner. So, who will win the investment of up to half a million ringgit? Do not blink an eye, for you do not want to miss the results of Malaysia's best business pitching program, Make the Pitch. These are the six finalists who are hoping to be winning up to half a million ringgit from our panel of investors. But before that, in no particular order, we're going to be sending Aizuddin in to find out his fate. How do you feel? Nervous, but I'm confident. Good. Now, up to judges. How much meeting? Good. Okay, so all the best. Thank you. Aizuddin, recapping on your journey from when you first began. You know, you, you came in here um, and I could safely say that in that particular show or in comparison to anyone that was pitching at that time you were actually the worst pitcher of the lot you know uh, and um, you know <coughs> you getting to the next round was again uh, a, a split decision uh, between the judges some of us believed in you and felt that there was potential to your idea and you know, after receiving the 5,000, you've proceeded to go on and secure two partners. You know, you've extended the business model as we've advised. You've clinched a deal with Prince Court Hospital. You know, uh, and you've come to us with you know a presentation that is worthy of funding. Yeah, and. Uh, for, for one thing, you know, and I think all the judges share this, we've been very impressed with the rate of progress that you've, you've shown on the show. You know, it, it's been tremendous from the point when you first began till now, there has been tremendous progress. You know, we, we see the structured thinking, we see where you're going with this. We, we can see that it's a much more well-rounded idea now. It's sexy now, yeah, <laughs> it's now a sexy idea. Um, and, you know, um, we think that you know, you, you will succeed. However, you know, um, none of us uh, will be offering you um, the funding that you require. But other than that, um, we have all, all, all of us here on the panel, have pledged our support to help you find access to financing for the amount that you need from some of the other uh, supporting government agencies mm -hmm. yeah so you will have the support of ourselves here we will extend you that support 
because we believe that you've got a good idea and we believe that you're probably one of the best executioners that we've had on this show. Yeah, um, I mean, your, your pitch may not have been convincing at the very first episode, but you've shown that you can execute with the best of them. You know, you, you can deliver. And that is one of the most important entrepreneurial qualities. A lot of people can pitch, a lot of people can sell, but not very many people can deliver. You've got that quality. You know, you take in lessons and you execute well. And that's something that you should continue in your efforts to raise financing. And even after you've raised that financing, I, I think you've got it in you to be a very good entrepreneur because you listen well and you execute well. And that, that's part of the traits of a good entrepreneur. Yeah? As uh, Dr. Nasri said, we will all here do our level best to open doors for you to have access to funding that you, will, you would require. Yeah. It's not easy to get the belief of all the panel here, believe me. And you've, you've got our belief. Okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you for the courage. Thank you for your entrepreneurship spirit. Thank you to all the villagers for the opportunity. Thank you. So, how do you feel? I don't know, mixed mix feeling here. Uh, happy because the charges like the idea. You can see the potential. But quite, quite, it's yes, sad because they cannot find the business. Uh, but they said they, they will help me to, to find the investor to fund the business. Okay, so this this may be the end of the road for you, but does it mean that you're going to stop no, doing no, your dreams? No, no. I, I will continue because I made a secure contract with the court. So I will still continue with the deal. At the same time, maybe I will come to my EG or credo or MDAC to discuss on the possibility of the funding. To, which investor willing to invest in my business idea? Well, you know what? You did your best. You got into the finals. I know you gave him the, your best shot. You took the judge's advice and you created and believed in your dream. So keep going, keep moving on. And I'm sure you're going to succeed. Sure. Congratulations, anyhow. Thank you. All right. Good job. How do you feel about all this? Um, I'm very um, honoured to be his wife anyway, I believe in him, um, as I said he's a very passionate man, he knows what he wanted to do in his life, so we will support him all the way, it's just um, another block or hurdle that we have to face together. Is, is this a dis disappointment for you? No, no, he's never a disappointment for me. He's the best husband ever and I will support him all the way. Well, that's the first of our finalists who found out his fate tonight. To find out what happens to the other five, be sure to stay with us after the break. Turn around and look at the beauty. Welcome back to Make the Pitch, the finals. Now you've seen how Aizuddin did not receive any investment from our panel of investors and judges. However, we've got five more finalists and right now we're with Tanai Kyong who's going to walk in and find out his fate tonight. So Mr Tan, how do you feel if your son doesn't win anything tonight. He might look at the face and, and take a king. He will what? He take a king, so fine again. I love my son. He will fight. I fight. He will fight again. Fight again. Mrs. Tan, what do you think? My son so win. He will surely win, right? Yeah. Alright. Akyong? How much are you asking for? I'm asking for 330,000. Right. And, and how do you feel about this tonight? I feel excited and I hope the investor can actually invest in Master 2 idea so that it can let Malaysia to build world-class social networking applications. Fantastic. Well, I love your spirit. Keep it up. And I really hope you'll be one of our winners tonight. All the best. Okay, I can. Um, I think out of all the ideas that have come to us during this pitch, 
Yes was definitely one of the most unique. Um, the time capsule idea, the social diary idea, the, um, the merging of all the um, different platforms of um, um, social media into one um, reference point. <coughs> you know, all, all these things were really quite unique and fresh. And um, there, there was something very, very appealing about the way which you had presented them from a technical perspective. So I think execution is going to be key and how you take it to the market is also going to be key, otherwise it's going to be a miss. But you know, the, the concept and the idea is certainly a game changer because I think it's the right time for this particular product as far as social media is concerned. Yeah. So that's what the judges feel, uh, so congratulations okay. on that. Okay, turn around and look at the beauty. Hold on, don't go anywhere yeah. yet. <laughs> that is the, the amount that you have gained and of course we are asking for 35% equity which I hope you will accept. Oh, it's a yes, okay? It's an, an acceptance. Uh, yes. Okay. We, I will take the deal. Thank okay. you for the investment. Okay. 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 Wow. Yeah. Thank you. Fantastic. So we've got a winner. We've got a winner tonight, folks. Dana Kiong, how do you feel? I feel very, very happy as the investor actually accept this idea, and this idea actually is not a regular idea because it's actually take a level, some level of the risk because a brand new social media game platform is. It's very tentative, actually. Fantastic! I can feel, I can feel you, uh, your your body, your any energy and your vibration. You know, all the best. Congratulations! You deserve it. Okay, we got a winner tonight. So let's find out if there are any more winners after this. This is Captain Syed and Captain Syed. How do you feel about tonight? How do you feel about your pitch, anyway? Uh, actually, right now I'm not feeling anything. Yeah. Uh, whatever happened, we happen for a reason. So, I'm good with that. Yeah. <laughs> At a level of zero to one hundred percent. How do you feel about what you're asking for will come true? Uh, right now I just hope for the best and hope it's at 110 percent 110 percent for sure and how uh, much are you asking 496,500 and is that significant to that number uh, basically that's how much I've got to and hopefully that's how much you're going to need fantastic <laughs> well all the best to you thank you and we hope you come out with fantastic news yeah, I hope so too Captain Said. There is no question that the child tracking service serves a purpose. It brings value to society. You have also managed to secure a partnership with a bank and a telco during this period, so you are able to execute. However, there are a number of players who are also targeting this very same market. They offer various permutations with the same end objective. So it can potentially be a rather crowded space. So, being prudent investors, we would like to see some clarity in how this market um, evolves. So, I would like to have a bit more time to understand how the mechanics, how the market reacts to this kind of products before committing an investment. But it is definitely a product that we believe is commercially viable. Yep. But it depends on how um, the various players compete with each other first. Uh, it's a noble product. Yeah. We all are parents and we have children, so certainly something that uh, we feel personal, personal about it. But wearing our business hat, I guess, uh, as uh, Ties was mentioning, you know, perhaps the market is or is, has other players in it. Um, my sense is you can go a lot further than just this particular service, yeah, because it's location-based, mm -hmm. uh, so it's not just about child protection. 
I'm wondering whether that was included in the planning session. But since you came here for pitching uh, specifically for childcare on location base, I'm sure that you can take it even further beyond the current service that you are, you are talking about. Yeah? But at this time, we are sorry to inform you that uh, we are not ready to fund you at this stage. Yeah? Thank you very much. Thank you. And Thank good you. luck. Thank yeah. you for this opportunity. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Captain. It's okay, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. We hope for, for the best, uh, but uh, things happen for a reason. So maybe there are other opportunities, uh, there are other ways to get the funding. So uh, I will still proceed, so no problem with that. You know, commiserations from, from myself, you know, I, I personally think, like the, what the panel of investors has said, that it's actually a noble product and a noble cause. And I'm sure you won't stop here. Yep, I'm sure you keep on fighting on. Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you believe in this dream? Yes, I do. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here. Fantastic. Well, you've been in the final. You're already a winner. Yes, basically. And I know you will continue this fight. Yes. Yes, I will. How do you feel about this? I know, I know him well and think he will continue on with the journey and uh, with our support, with his family support. I'm sure he will go far. Yeah? What about you? Yeah? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. Your dad's a fighter. Okay? Okay? So this is not the end. This is just the beginning. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Alright? Mm -hmm. Good job, my friend. Good job. Okay. Thank Good you. Good job. Alright. Well, looks like we have 350,000 ringgit already won by a finalist. And we have three more finalists down the alley waiting for their fate. Does that mean they have to share the remaining 150,000? Or will there be more cash injection? Stay tuned. Keep watching, make a pitch after this break. Let's see how much we are willing to invest in your business. Okay, well, welcome back to Make the Pitch. I am with a media darling, Jay Menon, who's made it to the finals. Oh. And how do you feel about being in the final? Well, I, at this point, I'm speechless. I gotta tell you this. Um, this is the first time I'm, I'm you know, pitching my own business idea. I'm, I'm so used to being in front of the camera, but this is, you know, bringing your idea, presenting it like, you know, this is the last thing you wanna, you know, like make sure that this is a success by the end of the year. So I, I, I don't know. I'm I'm speechless, Nash. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. You know what? Um, I think you did very well in your pitch. Yeah. How do you think you end up tonight? Do you think you get what you want? I think there was a lot of questions about the projections. So I'm a bit concerned about you know commercial viability of the product. So whether or not they see that this is going to be a money making or at least it will generate the kind of income that they hope. Yep. So I don't know. Based on that it's very fifty fifty at the moment. I'm sure you're gonna be doing your best. Yep. I hope you win tonight. Oh thanks. I hope so too. Well congratulations just like the others uh, for being here. Personally, I, I just have one comment. I don't know about the other judges. Mm -hmm. um, your brand itself, yeah, uh, Scox, I, you know, it stands for you know what you just said. But perhaps there's something you know better in terms of how it relates to your audience. Yeah, yeah. but it just didn't resonate with uh, us as the judges. Mm -hmm. But maybe we are cou couch potatoes, not sports <laughs> fans. I don't know. <laughs> but we did agree that if anybody can make Scox work, it's you. Thanks. So, we are going to make an offer. Let's see how much we are willing to invest in your business. So, 
we are willing to invest that amount mm -hmm. for a 35% stake, for a 35% 30 equity in your business, which we think is you know, a fair deal, given that it doesn't really generate any income at all today. That's actually, the, the figure that we are comfortable with is 25% equity. For regardless of the amount that we got, we knew that that was the amount of equity that we are willing to part with. So, will you accept my counter offer? So you won't accept uh, this money for 35% equity? <laughs> That's a really big figure there. It's a, <laughs> it's a little bit for? hard. Um, I do have to say that 25%, that's, that's all we can, we can stick to and that's, I'm, I'm not speaking on my behalf, I'm speaking on a team that has actually dedicated a lot of time. If we don't accept your 25% offer, you would not accept our 350000 Yes, I, w I, w I would actually say I, I can't accept it because it's a team effort. What we do is Cox, it's, it's a team effort, we love it and you know, somehow or another we've made it work so far without putting our, you know, our business hats on and I know that once we do that we would be able to secure the funding that we need. But the courage for you to reject 350,000 um, in order for you to have 25%, I'd give you some points for that. Oh. <laughs> I thought so, that was the merit points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, however, you have to do your level best to make sure that things work the way we, we want it to work, not just what you want to work and not to turn it into just pure hobby and passion but yeah. into yeah. a business and a commercial enterprise as well. So with that, I think we reluctantly accept. I, I guess, you know, the one thing that we we wanting to, to do, and we didn't take into consideration, of course, advertising. For 300,000 people, targeted users of sports, there's a lot of advertising that we can generate. Coming from the background that I, I am, we will be going to people, we will be chasing them down. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Wow. How? Oh, high five, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even. Well, there you go. 350,000 ringgit. Oh my god, I can't breathe. I really can't breathe. I, I'm so excited. This is great stuff. This is great stuff, not just for me, but you know, for my team and for the people who are you know going to be on sports. People are playing sports again. So, you too. <laughs> well, I'm a big fan of sports, but hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. What about that Cox name, man? What? Are you going to do it? something about no, that? No, no, it's catchy. <laughs> so a lot of people are going to, you know, have a problem with it, and they will remember it because of that. Well, okay, I'll give you that. Yeah. And you know what? What's great about this whole thing for you was your power. You, you not only you won, mm -hmm. you also negotiated. Oh yeah, gosh! I the investors, how is that? I was shaking. I couldn't even talk properly. I'm pretty confident, you know, like. But I was shaking as I was thinking. My gosh, I'm just rejecting 350,000. Am I doing the right thing? I'm still shaking. My gosh. So you, but you, I, you got what you want in the end. Exactly. We have a team. And yeah. These people believe really strongly in you know in the the product. And if I go there and say, um, you know, we gave away 35% of the company just because we wanted to get this money, they'd probably be a little bit disappointed. So, discussions with me, and this was what we could give away. Fantastic, man. Oh, hey, thanks. hey, it's time for you to celebrate. So, what are you going to do first up? Call my parents or someone. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Great job, J-Man and Scox. Yep. 350,000 ringgit is up. And it's more than, and it has now breached the yeah. 500,000 ringgit mm. originally planned. So congratulations again. Thank you, Nash. And we have two more, two more finalists. And come with me and see what we've got here. We've got Mr. Jimmy. Jimmy. Jimmy's going to go up next. Right. 65. 65 euro man. And starting and pitching for his life. Right. For the love of my life. For, for your passion. Yeah. And people say, I'm too old to do this, I'm too young to do this. Is there such thing? No. No such thing? No way. So how do you feel about tonight? Well, I think I did a good job. So we'll see what is going to happen next. All right. How much is going to come for me? Okay, a level of uh, 1 to 10. What's your level of confidence? I would think that there'll be something, but it's a question of how much, that's all. Fantastic. All right, Jimmy. You know, you. you're the most senior person in this whole program and I really hope you will win something tonight. Thank you. 
Let's go for it, my friend. Hi, Jimmy. Um, all right. Right from the very first time when you appeared on this show, um, I think some of us were very hard on you. Yeah, um, I was one of those people. In Make the Pitch, you know, your decision to join and our decision to push you towards the digital version has actually brought you to the next level. And, and we saw it just now, the alpha birth type. And believe me, I think we're very impressed with the fact that, you know, that um, you're, you're not necessarily IT savvy, you know, uh, nor in the age segment, which is IT savvy. But, uh, you know, you've managed to get a prototype completed, you've negotiated the whole way, uh, and you've executed brilliantly from the point of when we last met you. So I think you've got a huge potential and uh, you know, I congratulate you for being here and also realizing that hey, you know, even uh, you can teach old dogs new tricks. Yeah. Uh, that's great. We, we wish you uh, all the success. Jimmy, in the initial pitch, we did ask you if you would consider us driving the digital business of your game. Back then, of course, um, you felt that no, it was something that doesn't interest you much and you were willing to let us um, drive the business and you take um, a certain percentage, a certain equity in the business. We urge you once again to separate the two businesses. Perhaps you should focus your efforts, your energy, your resources on the selling of the physical games. Sell us the rights to the digital version. Let us invest in what is necessary to drive the business, bring the game to the global audience. We will give you some cash as well as equity in the digital business. Let's see how much cash we will offer you. So we'll give you 50,000 to acquire the rights to the digital version of Color Magic and 30% equity in the business. I'm looking at your percentage that you're offering me. You are practically hitting what I'm giving to the, 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 the software man. So technically, if I accept your offer and pass it to the guy, I'll have ba barely... You could Crumbs. use the 50,000 to pay him. I believe you owe him 10,000, right? 10,000 is one thing. But you are talking about the, the percentage. Oh. You, think, you, are, you are giving me 30%, I'm going to give him 20, 27%. I've got 3 uh, percent only. I, I'm, I'm just having crumbs. As it stands, I doubt I would like to uh, would take this offer. Thank you very much. However, Gradle will undertake you know, to support you in our commercialization funding thank you you know as far as possible uh, this is a, a personal undertaking from the ceo to support your application thank you very much sir. Well thank done. you well done jimmy good luck thank good you luck. good luck so jimmy well you you turned them down yeah i did didn't i that's fifty thousand ringgit very interesting the why why is that so well think it this other way Two others have received 350,000 each for what I would consider to be just ideal.